realize really fast, about a year ago, I worked in this very establishment. I did drag queen bingo on Tuesday night. Yeah! <laughs> Dressed up as Anastasia Beaverhausen. This is a lot more comfortable. God, but how's everybody? We having a good night? We having fun? I've been in Asheville now almost 17 years. I'm a Yankee convert and proud of it. Hey, Hell yeah, I was born in Boston. I moved down here. I like sweet tea, I like biscuits and gravy, and I like poor people. <laughs> but um, I realized once you move down to the South and you get a family from the South, because I have a step family now from the South, um, I had an uncle in jail at one point for breaking the other one out. <laughs> and um, I was like, that's crazy, because I'm the white sheep in my family and I'm gay, because I'm the only one out of the three children that doesn't have a criminal record. <laughs> I've been arrested, they just never pressed charges, they were dropped. But um, I was practicing comedy uh, down at Spanky's, doing some open mic nights, and Tuesday night I got pulled over, leaving Spanky's because my automatic headlights didn't turn on, and I don't know how to fix that shit, because I don't work on cars, because I'm gay and I own the stereotype. <laughs> Hell yeah, I look hot, don't I? Thanks. But, uh, but I get pulled over and I'm automatically panicked and I see a parking lot to the left, so I turn on my left hand signal and I move into the parking lot. There's a chain in front of it. So now I'm parked on the sideway, sidewalk, with a cop behind me who's getting out. He's like, you need to pull over there. And I'm like, yes, sir, I'm very sorry. So I pull over onto this side street, which is in the middle of Woodbine, which is the corner of like homophobia and hell. And he comes up to the car and he's like, do you know why I pulled you over? I said, sir, my headlights aren't working right. I apologize. I was trying to fix it, but I'm just about a mile from my destination and didn't even realize it. And he's like, let me see your license. So I gave him my license, my registration, you know. Proof of insurance, he's like, yeah, I don't need those. I just need your driver's license. You smell like alcohol. Have you been drinking? <laughs> and I did immediately what you're supposed to do in that situation. I said, I've had one beer. <laughs> and it was at 8.30. It's 11.30 now. Now, translation, I had three shots of Jaeger and two vodka cranberries, but <laughs> in hindsight, I had one beer. And so all of a sudden, he's like, I don't need that. And I'm like, shit. And then the other, pop, the other cop car pulls up and it's in a van. And I'm like, oh, God bless. I've seen what happens. I don't want to do this. This is not going to happen to me. I can't do this right now. And he's like, sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm now going to have to do a sobriety test. I'm wearing Skechers shape-ups. <laughs> They're curved at the bottom. So automatically, you're kind of like, Ooh. And so I just kind of like stuck my ass on my car and I was like, if he makes me walk, I'm dead. I'm going to jail. That's it. And he's like, I need you. Do you see this pen? I was like, I see the pen. It's a Bic. It's a silver light. I love the pen. It's beautiful. He's like, can you touch the pen? I was like, boop. He's like, all right, I want you to follow this with your eyes and don't move your head. And immediately I was, he moved over here and I was like, he's like, don't move your head. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Sorry, I really had one beer. What the fuck? So I'm following the pen and all of a sudden I am um, prescribed Adderall because I have a mental dysfunction called ADD, <laughs> which makes great for comedy, but I'm like, all of a sudden my medicine kicked in, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then he fucked with me, he turned it sideways. He went, I was like. <laughs> He's like, you all right? I was like, didn't expect that. And then he moved it up over my head and I was like. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm going to let you go. And immediately I realized that I needed to fix the situation. I pulled over to the next gas station and bought gum, cologne, and a Twix. Because if Casey came in there, I didn't want to be like, no, I really did this to not smell like liquor. I really wanted a fucking Twix. <laughs> <laughs> they just had gum on sale, and I had to take appreciation of that. <laughs> but um, I am gay. I'm happily gay. Anybody else here gay and happy about it? It's kind of fun being gay. All the women that your dad wanted you to date your whole life still hang around you, and not for that reason. <laughs> but, um, I was thinking about gay rights the other day. It's kind of an interesting subject, you know, gay rights, and I thought about all the different civil rights movements we've had in our country. Great United States of America. America! That's it. We only have a few people that like America. Give it up for America! This is a participation sport, just letting y'all know. 
the more you clap and drink, the better we look and sound. So I'm just letting you know. Hell yeah! Time. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, I was thinking about gay rights, and I thought, oh wow, how are you children doing? I feel like I should have a storybook. <laughs> Oh wait, we'll talk about gay rights in a minute. I will tell you a story. Do y'all want to hear a story? Yes! From a dyslexic drunk? Yeah, of course. Remember the story of Cinderella? Yeah. You look like Cinderella. Aww. I'm not going to say it before or after the makeover. I'm just going to say you look like Cinderella. <laughs> but that story was told to me by my grandmother, who was an alcoholic and a dyslexic, and she told it to me like this. She called it Prenderella and the Sense. <laughs> Once upon a while, there was a dirty little girl named Prinderella. <laughs> who lived with her two suckly sisters and her stick at my mother who made her pie in the shots and chance to do all the other wordy dirk around the house. <laughs> Wasn't that a shirty dame? <laughs> One day, the ping issued a proclamation for a Drancy Fest ball. <laughs> you know the gays love a Drancy Fest. Yeah. And all the stick and wet mother, fucking sisters, they were gone, but Frinderella couldn't go because she didn't have a Drancy Fest. All she had was this wordy dag, which fitted it. <laughs> but then came along Frinderella's Gary Fog mother, and she turned a pumpkin into a poach, and heist into morses. <laughs> and she sent Frinderella off to that ball saying, do not forget to be home at the moke of Strid Night. <laughs> so Frinderella went to the ball, pranced all night with the synths, but at the moke of strip night, she ran down the stylus peps and on the bottom pep, slopped her driver. <laughs> Wasn't that a shorty day? The next day, the pinky shoot a proclamation that all eligible maidens were to slide on the tripper. The two suckly sisters slide the tripper, but it fitted it. <laughs> but when Prinderella slide the tripper, it fitted it. Do you spill your drink, bitch? <laughs> Your boots are hot. You're clumsy as hell. All right. Let me forget about Prinderella. Oh, Prinderella is now her time to slide on the tripper. And it's good, dude. So Prinderella and the Sins, my Gary and his left blue ever after, while the two suckly sisters and the stick and wet mother were left to pine the shots and chance. And nobody thought that was a shirty day. <laughs> Now get back to serious gay rights and all the different rights of our country. And I thought, you know, first we started out with, shut up, I'm Target. Mama well, raised a faggot, not a fool. I will go crazy from here. But um, I thought about rights and civil rights. And first we had the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed all the black people or African Americans. And I'm saying that with a lot of information, because some of y'all may have gone to Antioch High School. But, then we had women's rights and the, you know, women's liberation, and now we're in gay rights, and um, how funny would that have been if it had happened in a different order? Like, imagine if gay rights would have happened first. People would be like, I don't care if two dudes are married, but they better be the same fucking color. If it happened before, you know, women's liberation, you know, before they could talk, vote, or speak in public, be like lesbianism, be like, how'd y'all meet? They'd have to get to Home Depot through the Underground Railroad. <laughs> like, Martha, Gertrude, come on, girl, don't slow down. <laughs> She's like, I just need a two by four so I can build that tree house. <laughs> I love lesbians. Do y'all like lesbians? <laughs> I swear to God, if you have something broke in your house, a lesbian will fix it. You need somebody who's ass beaten, a lesbian will do it. You need someone to sing karaoke with you and do the male part, a lesbian is yeah. Yeah. And this is girl on girl comedy, so I had to give some love for the lesbian. Because I used to say, all you gays clap and all the gay men would, and I'd be like, lesbians, you're gay too. Yeah. <laughs> It's called unity. We've got to bring it back. Right. We need to be like the gay tang clan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if they're gonna say that you can bully people because of your religious beliefs in the state of Tennessee, y'all heard about that bill? Yeah. I'm like, fine. We'll start a gay religion. Gay theism. <laughs> 
Because I know a lot of gay men that think nobody else in the world exists but them. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Christy, you alright, girl? Did you get all your slips of paper email addresses? You can put me on the bill. You can give me away as long as they're hot, cute, make at least $400,000 a year, and have a credit score of a 720 or above. Think I would have already gotten them. You want a unicorn is what you want. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, on that note, my time has expired. Have y'all had a good time? Thomas Cremier, and I'm going to give the microphone back to the lovely and talented cougar, Miss Christie. Oh,